Hello, it's Jimmy Games, and in this video I'm gonna show you how to create simple animations with the Unreal Engine control rig. Yeah, let's get started. First you want to go to the character folder on the third person template, okay? And then to the mannequins and to the rigs. And here we have this uh, dear mannequin body. Okay, we want to drag it to the level, like this. Okay, and it's, it opens the sequencer for us. So now, we want to get the angle the, where we can see. And now, if we want to create, let's create some something simple. For example, some waving animation. So, let's set the time of the animation. So now we have 30 frames per second. And the time is 150 frames, so 5 seconds. Let, let's make it like 90 frames. So now it's uh, 3 seconds total. Okay, so let's get to work. So what we want to do here now, we actually uh, want to... There are a few things that we can do. So the first thing is, we can just move body parts like this. But if we want to move them more easily, I can show you the way. So if we scroll to the top, we have this global control. And here, if we want to wave with the right hand, we want to set the... Uh, where is it? Ra arm, right, icon, switch. Let's make it true. Okay, so now what we do, you can see, those circles went away and we have this square right now. So now what we want to do here, so this is our base stance for now. Let's add some uh, keys to here. Let's click this. It adds key to every single body part. And now let's go to the for example to the uh, 20 frame, frame number 20. Now if we click this box, we can, sorry, I will actually adjust this camera to 2. So now it's easier to move and see. So now if we move this box you can see the whole hand moves. Okay. And also here is this little ball. We can change the elbow rotation with it. So like this. Let's leave it to here I think. Okay. Now let's move the hand to the position where we start waving. And we can rotate the hand like this. Let's actually make this rotation uh, snapping off. Okay, now we can turn the hand to whatever rotation we want. So it should be around there. Okay, That's, this is the position where we are right now. Now what we want to do here is, you can see this uh, icon here, you want to click that. So every time you adjust something, it adds key to there. So if I now rotate this a little bit, you can see the key is there. So now, if I go like this, you can see the animation is already doing something. So, and if you want to adjust something later, you always want to click that frame. So it takes you to there. Because if you do it like this, and it goes to here, and you move this, then you can see what happens. I will show you. You can see. Snaps to the second frame. So, let's delete that. Like that. And actually, let's do one more thing here. We want to copy all these first uh, keys from the first frame to the last frame also, when we are uh, doing a looping animation. Okay, so let's delete actually this and our IK control. Let's go to the end start. We have all these here and now let's go to the end. Here on the last frame, we also want to click this. So now, if we go to the middle and adjust something, you can see the animation, it goes back where it was. So, control and set, it delete the key. And now let's go to the 20th frame, where we were before. Now let's move the hand to the waving position. Like there. And now let's go, for example, 
repository uh, where is the key the key is here so now what we want to do we want to actually get this key and we want to get like 20 uh, frames from the end and we want to control and be pasted as, uh, when I copied it I want to control and C and paste it with control and B so now our animation is like this and it's still and now it goes back so now let's add all the stuff here in between between around 70 and 20 so we have 50 frames here we can go to frame 45 which is in the middle we can do this we can move this hand to here and let's move the elbow also a little bit no I think it's actually pretty much there let's see how this thing looks now the animation is like this so let's see okay it's not the best looking but you can see we can actually adjust it and delete these keys on the end and let's move it like 16 frames or something like that let's get the hand let's move it to here and now on the somewhere around here let's move it to here and now you can see my super nice animation which really is not good but you can see you can do whatever animations you want just remember to set the first and the last is to the same so if your animation is something that loops so the starting and ending position is the same okay now what we want to do we want to scroll to the top and we want to right click this sear mannequin body and we want to bake animation sequence and we want to bake it to for example to the two third person folder and to the blueprints let's call this weird wave for example okay and export to animation sequence like that now we can close this sequencer now when we go to the third person blueprints we have this weird wave here yeah, you can see like that now if we want to play some new animations on our on our, our player we want to right click create animation montage now we have a montage from it and now let's open the pp third person character let's add some key here so let's search for a key let's get something and now we can actually from here we can change the key so let's make it like f for example now from the f we want to actually get the mesh we want to get the mesh that we play the animation from and from here play montage play montage like this now we can select the montage weird wave montage like this compile and save save all just to be sure now if we try the game oh our anime rig is still there but it doesn't matter but now if we press the f key yeah but you can see the whole player does the anime pose if we want to just do it with the top body top part of the character i will show you how to do it we want to actually call to our character mannequin animation and animation blueprint so app many in this case let's open it and here what we want to do we want to go to the anim graph and we want to actually we have this default slot here let's actually move all these further to here and here what we want to do we want to cut this link now and we want to get a blend Uh, layered blend per bone this one okay and we want to connect this default slot actually sorry uh, we want to connect uh, these 
we want to cut this link also. We want to get this default slot to here, to the blank pose zero, and this main state to here. So the main state is the normal state that is playing right now. Okay? And this blank pose zero is the pose that will play over the, let's click here, layered setup index and branch filters. Let's add one. Let's open the index here, the bone name. Now we want to click our skeleton. We want to select some bone in the middle of the body. So spine underscore zero two. Okay, we can close this. Let's write here spine underscore zero two like that. And blend depth. This is, I don't actually 100% know what this does, but it basically blends the pose uh, or the animation between the different bones. I don't know 100% what it, how it does it, but yeah, you can adjust it. I usually use like value between two and five. Let's use like maybe three. It doesn't matter that much in this case. Okay, and now I will show you. Now it's always playing that uh, it's actually playing the. I will delete this and show you other way what it does. If we get the jump or the land animation and turn it to here, and compile. Okay, it's sorry. Uh, let's get the ball loop, for example, and let's connect it to here and let's compile. So now you can see the player's upper body is doing a full loop animation. So what we now want to do, we want to get this here, connect this to here, and we want to get that local motion state. So we want uh, we have cast it on the default app. So let's get the local motion. Use cats post local motion like this. Actually move this further. Now we have this here, let's connect it to the source. Okay, now we have the slot between this and the blend. Okay, now it works normally, but when we play the animation that plays through the default slot, you can see he's waving only with the top a part of his, or actually her body. So yeah, that's how you create some animations. Yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click the like, bu like button and subscribe for more. I have a pretty long Call of Duty Zombies tutorial series on my channel. If you like that kind of stuff, please check it out because, yeah, uh, many people have liked it a lot. So yeah, hope you have a great day and yeah, see you in the next one.